Well, Dean Gunter, Pontefree's outside half. Uh, Dean, you joined Ponty back in the 2008-2009 season, just for just sort of the end of the 2009 season, wasn't it? Yeah. And you, um, you've gone from there, really. So yeah. tell me, Dean, where do you come from? I mean, what's home? Where, where do you consider to be home? Who have you played for? All that sort of thing. Well, um, I, I didn't start playing at Ponty until I was about 11. Um, I played football up until then. But uh, once I went to the junior school, then I started playing rugby. The boys, all my mates, started playing rugby, so I thought I'd have a, have a game, you know, and I really enjoyed it, really, and um, I started off at Abercunnan, um, and 11, I think it was, I came through then to under 13s, and 14s, and 15s, and then I have a kind of valley through the schools, so I started playing rugby for my uh, comprehensive in Mount Dash, with Dan Top. That's right. <laughs> and, um, well, I, was, uh, I, I got asked to go to a, um, a kind of valley trial where the chief was coaching and um, lucky enough I got in and uh, there was a great season and then I got through the through kind of valley and you have uh, trials of Cardiff Blues North at yeah. was then and um, I got in then, Blues North, got through to the 18s, I got capped and the 16s, um, went through like two years in 20s when my first year and, uh, I went playing my best rugby, like. Yeah. So, um, well, but the second year, then, I, uh, I got invited. I was in London at the time, playing um, in a Super 14s. In a Super 14s. All oh, right, in rugby a, league. No, in rugby like, league, it was at call, all the colleges. Got to London and have uh, a have a tournament. Ah, oh, okay. All the best schools from Wales, England, and a few invit invitation teams playing oh, nice. in the Super 14s. And that uh, chief rang me. To go on a bench, I think it was against agenda, I think it was. Yeah. And uh, I couldn't make it, I was up in London. So uh, it was a bit uh, gutted, really. But uh, he gave me the chance then, about two or three weeks after. And um, here I am today. So you came from Abercannon to Ponty by way of Chief. Chief just gives you a call up the yeah, blue and says. I the blue, I didn't, didn't have no inkling at all, really. And you ended up playing for Ponty? And I ended up playing for Ponty and I signed against agenda, I think it was. Well, he rang me to. Uh, I think it was James Progend, yeah. and then two or three weeks later I had, a, I had the opportunity to play James Progend again. So where's the, um, I mean, have you always been out there half? What's the... No, I've always played uh, the chief, always put me in the centre. But, um, I've played full-back, or cap wheels and 16s at full-back. All right. But, um, yeah, I could probably play centre or full-back. I'm not pace for the wing, but uh, well. as long as I'm playing, I'm happy, really. Yeah, and, and your kicking skills, because obviously when you came here first, I remember watching against Progen, I remember not so much against Progen, I think. I, I remember watching you er, in early doors with you, and thinking, my God, this boy can kick, he's an Etniel Jenkins. Oh. But, um, you know, and that's praise indeed. Oh, yeah. um, but where's the kicking come from? I mean, have you? is it something you've always liked doing? No, it was, um, well, it was, we were, I think it was under, under 15, they started bringing the kick, getting a good kick, and like, all the boys, you know, they, they weren't the very best kickers, and um, I just really enjoyed kicking. Like once I was eleven, I always had a ball down the field, as we kicking a ball around in the house, and uh, well, go nuts really. But uh, <laughs> no, but it, I, I used to get, enjoy it. I used to go train early, practice my kicking, and uh, just come from here, really. And what are the uh, one of the boys? One of the uh, the guy who brings the uh, the tea on for you. I think they call him a, a name that we won't repeat on camera. <laughs> well, I think a few of the boys have said it during the program. Um, He's got a little bet with you, isn't he? Oh, I know why. So you want to tell people at home about this bet, because this is news to me. He'd have come on a field and bring a walker on the knee and he'd every single kick I have, bet a pint on this. I think I owe him about 20 pints. <laughs> well, he, he said that to me just now. He said, oh, and ask him, ask him about the money he owes me and ask him about the pints he owes me. Yeah. And also ask him about his nickname, the Kraut. Ah, oh, Dye so, Thomas. Yeah, tell me about this then. The first time I came here, he said I, I look like a German. <laughs> and I slipped up and said, oh, my mother was born in Germany. Yeah. So uh, that's where he, you're a Kraut then, he said to me. So that's where the nickname came from, uh, Dye Thomas. I think Dye Thomas invented most of the boys' uh, nicknames, actually. Yeah, boy fit me. <laughs> and you're enjoying it at Pondy? Oh, Best time of my life, brilliant. Fantastic, fantastic. So, this season then, what are we looking for, Dean? Well, hopefully the squad we got, you know, it's, uh, it's a very strong squad and uh, hopefully we have uh, silverware. Yeah. Hopefully we can win the league and uh, hopefully we win the cup. We've got a strong enough squad to do it. So I think uh, I think we are really in uh, contendence for it, really. Yeah, and what about the Bic then? Because we it? started strong, the Bic, oh, the British yeah, Irish Cup. Oh, uh, yeah, I think we've got a few home, uh, home draws in the crowd. You know, get behind us, hopefully... Uh, we can have a few doubles, 
because that must have been an experience last season, travelling up the way and all that. Well, uh, he got called up, he was on a bench against France. Of course he were, aye. About three minutes against France. Of course he were. I was glad that I missed the trip. It sounds like a cracker, actually. Oh, Bala no, saved it at the last moment, by all accounts. Some stuff about it, yeah. I bet, I bet. So, um, Humberston, Lewis Williams, that's going to be a new one for you, because you, for the last season, this was your shirt, and now all of a sudden, you've got some serious competition for it. Oh, yeah. What's the, uh, what, how, do, how are you feeling about that? Well, I'm happy with you. He makes me a better player. Well, Simon is a cracking player. He's a good friend of mine as well, and, um, you know, Every chance I take, I gotta, I gotta take it really. Every time I get take the field, I gotta take my chance. Otherwise, you know, Simon, he's a great player, so he keeps you on my toes. I mean, you've obviously got a lot of respect for the coaching staff, Chief, obviously, yeah, yeah, but Johnsy as well, and Langers and Bully. Yeah. I, you, you think there's a there's a confidence amongst the coaching staff oh, yeah, this season? Definitely, you know, I, like with Darren Bully, he coached me on 16, my first coach on Blues. Oh, I didn't know that. Chief has coached me, well, perhaps what, my rugby career or through probably. As far as I can remember, I've always known the Chief and John Zee, always a legend, Langer's legend, you know, being brought that watching always play. And to, to be underneath him now is a, it's a privilege, really. It's like a bit of a family connection, here, is, really, isn't yeah. it? Everyone knows everyone else. Yeah, there's 22 brothers on, on a Saturday. So. I think that's very true, and I think that's one of the reasons why people find it, why players find it so difficult to leave Ponty. It's yeah. because you've built up this family connection at the ground. I think we see players like Duck Lee Evans come back yeah, here and he, yeah. he's just like, oh god, I wish I was you this sort of job. Yeah, I think no? I'll never leave Ponty really, oh. unless, unless they had they to go really on. Yeah. But uh, that was brilliant to be a fit. Oh, lovely to hear, Dean, lovely to hear. Well, hey, good luck today. It's uh, it's going to be a big day against Newport. I know, uh, What are you looking forward to? Yeah, I can't wait. Uh, it was the first game back for about three or four weeks really. The same one and uh, people perform outstanding. So, uh, you know, I just go on and take my chance and uh, hopefully I get a start next week as well. Well, I wish you the best of luck today. Dean Good has been a, pr pr a privilege and a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. Pobolo care, though. Good luck. All the best. Okay, thanks very much.